Hello and welcome to Truth and Life TV. I hope you're all doing well. Good to see you. Good to hear from you again. Good to be your host. Are you new on this channel? Please don't forget to subscribe, like and leave comments below. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for your custom and I'm so glad that you are here. So today on this channel we talk about spiritual help, how we can move on spiritually, how we can move on faster and make our prayers answered. So today we'll be talking about a Bible verse that you can use quickly to uh, to to ask God to help you faster. Are you in that time in your life where things are hard? It's hard to feed. It's hard to. Um, to do the things that you want to do you are in debt you <clears throat> you are crying out for help from god and it seems that like this help is not coming from anywhere this message is for you this message is for you and this what we'll be doing today is for you so what is that thing that is making you weep, that is making you cry, and you're trying so hard, it's not working? Today, all you need is just get a glass of water like this. Just a glass of water like this. And get your Bible, Psalm 42. Psalm 42, read Psalm 42 from the beginning to the end we did three times in the water like this read it like this the verse 11 there says why are you cast down O my soul why are you disquieted within me hope in god for i shall yet praise him the help of my countenance and my god so read psalm 42 three times in the water Read Psalm 42 from the beginning to the end three times in the water. So after you've read Psalm 42 in the water like this, what you need to do is drink some of the water and the remaining, pour it into your bath water. Pour it into your bath water. When you pour it into your bath water, just before you bathe, just before you bathe in your bathroom, go naked. As you are naked like that, call upon your God. Call upon your God. You know you've put the, the remaining of the water in your bath water. Now, call upon your God as you are naked. You can kneel down and cry unto him. Cry unto God. You can do this around the 1 a.m. in the night. Cry upon God. Cry to God. As you kneel down there, begin to tell Him the things that is bothering you. God knows all these things that is worrying us, that is bothering us. But He wants us to do what? To come to Him. Come to Him. And when we come to Him... It shows that we trust Him. It shows that we de depend on Him. See that verse says that, For I shall yet praise Him. It says that, Hope in God, for I shall yet praise Him. The help of my countenance and my God. Cry unto Him. Tell Him those things that is bothering you and tell Him what you want Him to do. So after you've done that and you're satisfied that you have fulfilled that, what do you need to do? Have your bath with the remaining water. Just pour a little. Maybe you're having, maybe you have shower and you don't have a bucket. Just pour this water, the, the water, 
like that the remaining water pour it on your head or you you just keep it aside and after you've had your shower let this water be the last one that you pour on your body so once you pour it on your body like that don't dry yourself and you continue to pray continue to pray continue to pray and god will send you will send you helpers god will send you helpers of destiny people will be there to help you people who will be there who will not be tired of helping you god will send them to you god will lift up your head god will raise you up this season a lot of people are suffering a lot of people are going through so many things so why do we just allow ourselves to go through these things when we when help is at hand so let me pray for you before you go eternal king of glory our father and our god we thank you for today you are the lifter of our heads we worship you we pray for mercy and forgiveness of our sins please forgive us oh god we pray for as many said are bow down during this season lord that you lift them up grant us all peace and joy help us and send help us to us our trust and hope is in you break all barriers to our breakthroughs everything standing <coughs> in between our breakthroughs lord break them take us to the new year with merry hearts in jesus mighty name Thank you all for staying to the end of the video. I hope this video has blessed you. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and leave comments below. I will see you in the next video. And I will see you in the new year. God bless you. Bye for now.